Welcome back, Penguins. Today is Tuesday, May 10th, and it's National Clean Up Your Room Day, the day most of us dislike the most. But hey, we can keep our rooms clean for at least one day a year, right? Let's head to the SNA and Studios for today's report with David and Lila. That doesn't seem like too much to ask. I think I can do that. Now, let's all stand as we recite our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Remain standing as we say our proud Penguin Pledge. Respect, responsibility, and citizenship too, they bring out the best in me and you. Trustworthiness and being fair help to show others that we really care. We, we all know what's right. right. We, we all know what's good. good. We, we all do the things that we know we should. Remain standing as we reflect on being able to see the floor in our room again. You may be seated. Do you know what the date is today, David? Thanks to our great narrator, I know today is May 10th. Why do you ask? Well, if today is May 10th, that means tomorrow is May 11th, right? Well, that's the way it usually works. Now you've got me worried. Why are you asking? Well, May 11th is the last day to turn in your Singleton Got Talent variety show tryout videos. Oh, uh, that's okay. I can wait until the 12th to submit mine. Nope, wrong. Your video must be submitted no later th than midnight on 11th. No exceptions. Okay then, the 11th it is. Now, let's head to the SNAN Weather Studios for today's weather forecast. Today's weather is sunny and pleasant with a high around 80 degrees and a low humidity. We should also have a nice gentle breeze out of the north-northeast to keep the temperature down a little. There is a small chance of rain, but nothing major. Have you ever heard of a snow roller? You may also know these funny formations as snow donuts or snow bales. When strong wind pushes snow across the ground, the snow can roll into a donut-like shape that leaves a trail as it chugs along. As National Geographic notes, this only happens under very specific conditions, including above freezing temperatures, brisk wind speeds, and just the right dusting of snow on top of ice. Now back to you in the studio. I wonder if you could climb inside of on of those inside on of those snow donuts and ride it down the mountain. I'm not sure I would want to find out. Now, let's head to the Good News News Studios for today's great news story. Thanks, David. Today's headline, no, no Mow May gives you a reason to not mow the lawn. Leave the beads, weeds to feed the bees. Backyard bead conservation is all the buzz these days, with people planting native pollinator gardens, installing bee houses, and monitoring the local bee populations in North America. A quarter of our bee, native bee species are at risk of extinction. This is not good for bees, and it isn't good for us. Bees pollinate 35% of our global food supply, and many of the wild plants our ecosystem depend on in it. Enter No Mo May, a movement that is now rapidly spreading throughout the United States. Thanks to Bee City USA, No Mo May 
popularity lies in the simplicity. Just give bees a leg up during the crucial springtime by crossing a chore off your list and letting your lawn grow for the month of May. If you don't mow your lawn for three to four weeks, you're going to see an increase of flowers, which translates to an increase of bees. We should do all we can to help the bees. So when your mom and dad ask you to mow the lawn this month, simply tell them that it's no mow May. Now back to you in the studio. Sounds like a simple but effective way to help uh, out our bee population. Another way to help the bee population is to go fly a kite. Wait, what? Go fly a kite? How on earth does that help the bee population? Well, it doesn't. I was just trying to transition into our next story. Really? Well then, you went through all this effort. Continue. Don't forget, penguins. May 13th is Go Fly a Kite Day. You get to design, build, and test your own kite. Don't forget to bring in your own research packet. I remember the last year, Go Fly a Kite Day. is. It was... So much fun, and I can't wait to, to improve on my design. So when does it, when is it again? Friday, May 13th, during your activity time. Great, I can't wait. Speaking of kites, what material makes the best kite? My research says tissue paper. Why? Wrong fly paper. Ugh. Okay, penguins, time to sign off for the day for the day work hard and stay kind see you, see you soon, soon.